I'm Suzanne McNeil. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher and today I want to show you how to do Zentangle on metal. It is so easy. You're just going to be amazed. So a Zentangle normally is a drawn on paper with a micron pen. Here are a few samples and today I'm going to draw on metal. This is real aluminum. Resembles silver another aluminum, and this one's actually copper. These are all done on a, a soft sheeting, and it's a metal. It is pure metal all the way through, but this has a black coating on this side. So uh, the way I start, I just turn that over, and now I'm going to use, you could use an old ballpoint pen that no longer writes, or I'm just going to use like a little swizzle stick. So just like regular Zentangle, I'm going to draw my frame. I'm going to divide it into a few sections with my strings. And now I'm ready to start tangling. And I'm working on a little piece of foam from the craft shop at the children's department. It's just the right uh, thickness to do gives a soft surface without being too soft. Before they invented the foam, we used to work on a pad of newspapers. So now I'm just drawing a simple tangle in this space. Can embellish that. Every other space, I'm making two more lines. And now I'm going to do sort of like a crescent moon. Just really simple tangles. The Zentangle was in, developed by Rick Roberts and Maria Thomas at Zentangle.com. And they worked for years developing the teaching method. Little simple patterns have been around for eons of years. The earliest I found was on a pot, well, what resembled Zentangle, from the 1400s and also mud cloth from uh, Africa has a lot of uh, basic patterns. That, they sort of resemble Zentangle, but they don't have the teaching method that Rick and Maria develop. Now I have this. Now I'm going to do a different pattern. A very simple, I'm just using simple patterns on the metal that I can draw. I usually sort of leave a little space before I get to that second line. When you're doing it on paper you can draw right up to and run into that line but on metal it's going to work better like this. So let me just turn it over and you can you can hardly see it here but I'll show you the trick to make it show up when you're finished. I'm just going to continue a little bit. Just simple patterns. So this, this can be so relaxing. I can just sit and draw for, for eons. Let's see. So now, one of the things on metal that really works good is making little dots. So I'm just pressing distinctly in each area for that dot. I could turn my stick over and I have a little more blunt this end. This one I'm going to want to press straight down so I get a little bit different pattern. I have one section left. I'm going to draw sort of like a feather here, little straighter lines with a center spine. And now I'm ready to show you how to polish that. So I have here a little piece of steel wool, or actually this is synthetic steel wool. You just rub that across the top. You could also use a sanding block. And what this does, it takes that black surface right off of that metal with a really, really thin surface, just a thin layer of black coloring. Look how those tangle patterns show up. 
So I can just imagine doing a whole cabinet like my kitchen. I could do those on all the cabinets. I would want to seal this copper with like a, a matte spray the, because it would um, oxidize and turn sort of greenish with age. But the aluminum will stay bright and silver. So uh, just like when I'm drawing on paper, the patterns are all available here in the books. So every book has lots of patterns, and this one would be absolutely beautiful on copper. See all those just temporary straight lines? You can see here exactly how to do that pattern. So this is what the books do, is they break out the patterns, and this Rick's Paradox would be wonderful on the copper. Isn't that a beautiful pattern when you're finished? I kind of wonder how you do that, but in the books, the patterns are broken out so simple. You know exactly what to do from step one to step four or six. So I suggest that you uh, try a little bit of the Zentangle on metal. It's very similar to drawing on paper, but it creates such a fabulous look.